Mexican Cowboy or Hills of Mexico, uh, done by Willie Watson, done by me, uh, sort of like Willie Watson's, uh, probably about a good 90 to 95% um, uh, accurate with what he's playing. So I saw a video, a video of Willie playing this back in about 2014, thought it was awesome, just wanted to learn it and just watched him until I figured it out and I've kind of been playing it the same way since. Uh, like I said, there's some differences in the way we play, but there's a lot to cover on this one. This is definitely an advanced claw hammer lesson. Um, I actually already recorded an entire lesson for this. And then as I was writing the tab, I was sitting there with my banjo and I was like, this is this is actually way more complicated than, than I thought it was initially. So it's not so much complicated in your left hand as it is your right hand. And there's not a whole lot of difference in what you're used to doing, it's really more of what you're not going to be doing. Um, and you'll see when we get there. So there's a lot to cover on this one. There is a really tricky part I'm gonna have to spend probably the majority of the time on. And uh, uh, we'll just dive right in and uh, get you all playing this. So um, this starts off, so let me say this. When you see the tab, you're gonna see notes in parentheses. Those notes are going to be skipped. Um, or really optional. At least this is just the way that I play it. So I've written this the way I play it. Feel free to just please make it your own. Um, you, you'll play however you, you feel. Um, this is just the bare bones for you to uh, uh, take. So um, when you see a parentheses, you'll notice that these are essentially like bum ditty patterns. So we start off with uh, If I go really slow, if you're looking at the tab like I am right now, it's a hammer on and then parentheses and then a pop. What I'm doing there is a... If this were a true bum diddy, I'd be going... But I'm skipping the brush portion of the bum diddy. So... And I do that, I strike, and then you'll see on the tab three zeros stacked with parentheses around them that's also a skipped brush stroke so we have two back to back you play it quickly and then there's so all right so moving on from that we're gonna slide so you're gonna slide from two to four and then hammer on your e minor chord well, you're going to hit your open D first. So this is the part that I didn't think was all that... I didn't even think about being tricky until I tried, tried to tab it out. So I tried to make the best sense of it as I could in tab. Um, I, I tried to slow it down. This song is one of those songs that's just... Your brain is wired to just play it so fast. And when I try to slow it down, sometimes I screw up because I can't, I, my, my muscle memory is playing it so fast when I try to slow it down, I just, it's like a different song. Um, so this is all I can, <clears throat> the best way I can describe this is that it's a lot of double thumbing. So I'm a big advocate of when you're doing your bum ditty coming home every time. Even if you're not striking. big advocate of that in this case in that case you don't sound you don't always sound your your drone in this case you are going to sound your drone every time for just this section so we have the now you hear what I'm doing there I'm going like so let's follow the tab open hammer on And then 
you'll see a pop for the drone and then a skip note and another pop and a brush and another pop and a skip note. So it kind of ends up sounding like, I'm gonna play as slow as I can without messing it up too much. That's kind of the rhythm that you have to do. So when you see those two uh, drones back to back, you're not, you don't want to think of it as going like, like it's all thumb, but what you're doing is like implying a stroke that you're not hitting, but so we're, but we're double thumbing. So if it was a bum that he would sound something like this. But what we're doing is skipping a part, portion of that. So this is the part I should have to spend a little bit of time on because I want to make sure that, uh, that you can understand it. Cause I think it's, a pretty cool part of the song. Um, so. so let's do it slower. And I'm kind of like doing the motion, but I'm just moving, I'm not hitting on purpose. I'm not brushing, uh, so. that it's so fast though it's like you don't even think of it i think that's why i didn't realize how tricky it was i've been playing it for years and i just par for the course for me so here we go from the top and then we're going to hammer on so you're already in your e minor position you would only really need to put down your your index finger here um I prefer to hammer on the entire chord, even though I'm only gonna brush the bottom two, just this is gonna give you just an extra, you know, tone, part of the tone uh, to, to, to resonate while you're playing in the background. Instead of going, it's. So I hammer on the whole chord, you'll see in the tab, I'm only brushing right there. And you kind of do that same little shuffle for a second then. All right, and then, so, all right, that's all the time I'm gonna spend on that part of it. Let's move on to the slide. So the slide is kind of odd. It's like this little mini chord. The fingering is really important how you do this. So you're gonna put your middle finger on your second fret G string. You're gonna put your ring finger here on the third fret on your D, and then um, you're gonna plant your index finger back here. So you're gonna slide, and then you're gonna pull off. So you're gonna slide. So it sounds like this. All right, that's pretty straightforward. So. So at the, after that part, we're gonna very quickly move down to the, the second fret on the G, and you're gonna, but you're not going to sound the slide. So we're gonna slide up. All right, and then it goes, or, yeah. Yeah. I told you I'd play it slow, it screws me up, so. Whoops. And then to cap this whole part off, he's doing this little lick that's that goes like this. It's open drop thumb and then hammer on here. So yeah. 
So follow the tab, open, drop thumb. Hammer on, open again. Second fret, D. All right, so that whole part, let's start from the top. This is where he goes, some old Mexican cowboy. Another part where the fingering is really important. What's going to happen here is you're going to end up making these notes. All right. So the first part here has your, your index finger here. So if you're, I like to skip the strike on drop them a lot so really these are like if you were playing it truly it would be but i just like to go ready slide again so let's do this again and then our old friend not that one you're doing this again straightforward um I, like i said i tried to translate this in the tab as best i could uh please let me know uh reach out to me on social media wherever i post this um and let me know if the tab makes sense to you i'm very new to writing tabs for myself uh by myself uh you know for songs that i've i've arranged and uh, i'm trying to make this make as much sense as possible <clears throat> possible hopefully this uh, tutorial help. So uh, let's take it again from the top and just play it one more time. If you uh, found this helpful, give the channel a subscribe. All the lessons are always going to be free. Um, I have been toying around with putting out maybe a, a, a virtual tip jar or something like that. Um, I have no desire to have a subscription service or uh, have a Patreon or be uh, held to any sort of schedule to put these out. I just have a regular job that I work every day and I have little kids and stuff. So um, I just kind of do this for fun as a hobby. Uh, and uh, but I really like to do it. So that said, um, you know, keep, uh, you know, I, I'm gonna, I, I'm putting out uh, uh, flat picking guitar lessons, Klawhammer banjo lessons, and um, mandolin lessons uh, very soon once I get my mandolin back from a luthier uh, who has it right now fixing it. So um, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I will see you in the future. Thanks.